What's happening guys? It's Gathalion and today we're going to talk about how over leveling will work inside the Digistruct Peak Challenge DLC that comes out on September the 3rd. Now this DLC is a little complicated so I'm going to try to go through it step by step and make it as understandable as possible. Now while you can go into the Digistruct Peak Challenge at I believe any level, it will not unlock the over levels until you have reached max level of 72. So to unlock over levels you're going to have to own the first uh, level upgrade pack and the second upgrade pack. Upon completing Digistruct Peak at level 72, you'll unlock a thing called over level level 1 or plus 1. And basically what this will do is it'll make all the enemies in your game level 73. Now it won't force you to use over level. Within the game it's understood that you will pay Iridium or something along those lines and it'll activate over level plus 1, this first tier that you've earned. And at that point your entire game will scale up to level 73, all the enemies will be level 73, and they'll drop level level 73 loot and that's the cool part so once you've unlocked over level plus one you have access to level 73 loot regardless of the fact that your physical level remains at level 72 now that you've unlocked over level plus one you can then go back to the peak and beat it a second time unlocking over level plus two and again when you go in your game after unlocking this you can activate the entire game at either no over level over level plus one or over level plus two and again this will raise your max weapon ability and it'll raise all the enemy levels to your over level level over level 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 cubed now this process is not infinite. It caps at over level plus eight, and that will place all the enemies at level 80. All the gear will be level 80, but the entire time your level stays at level 72. It just ties what they, they call the over levelings to your, to your echo. That way you can activate them in game and say you're not really looking for that much of a challenge on UVHM after you've hit over level 8, you can just go back to no over level or you can go to over level 1 through 8. But the entire time, once you have unlocked over level plus X, you'll be able to use that gear in any standard or over level setting. So let's say that you've unlocked over level plus 8 and you have a level 80 hide of Terramorphous. Will you be able to use that in a non over leveled game, a standard level 72 ultimate Volt Hunter mode? The answer to that, as far as I understand, is yes. You can use your over leveled gear at any point once you've earned it. It is yours. It's tied to you. That extra. So we'll recap. Every time you complete Digistruct Peak on a certain level of overlevel or your standard 72 character, it will unlock the next tier of overleveling all the way up to plus 8, which will be level 80 characters, level 80 enemies, level 80 weapons that you can use, and your character's physical level remains at 72. And also a standard question that's being asked a lot is will things like melee base damage and any skills on your skill tree that are based on level and scale with your level, will those scale with your over level? And the answer from Gearbox is yes. So while you will be physically level 72, once you hit over level plus eight, your melee base damage will be that of a scaled to level 80 character. And the reason they did this was they realized that if they kept putting out level caps, they would have to keep putting out skill points. And eventually everybody would have every skill in every tree. And that's not very desirable. I personally feel like there's already too many skill points. But this way, in my eyes, they can occasionally bump up the over level cap. They say, all right, well now over level can go to 15, go to the peak and earn it. And then you can continue to get better and better and better gear, but you don't have to worry about the skill points. Like I personally don't want a full skill tree. Some people do, then give it. But from here on, it's gonna be done through over leveling as far as I can tell. 
So yeah, guys, that's a, a brief look on how Digistruct Peak will work. It's supposed to be a really tough challenge. It's supposed to take teamwork, and it's going to be really tough for solo players. But I feel like as long as you are patient and you know what you're doing just a little bit, you'll be able to get through the Digistruct Peak. There's going to be a lot of returning old favorites, uniques. There's new loot involved. I've done a video for the new legendary comms and new pearl weapons that are coming in this DLC. I'll uh, I'll throw those in a little uh, annotation in the video and as always please hit that like button that lets me know that you like this info that's coming out um, rate the video that's the like and uh, comment um, let me know if any of this information is not clear enough I'll try to respond to you as best I can there's a lot of comments and I try to get back to as many as possible and if you haven't already subscribe I'm coming out with a lot of information in the next few weeks and the next months coming with all the headhunter packs and all the new stuff for Borderlands 2 and for new games that are coming out so I hope you would enjoyed the video, and I'll see y'all next time.